How to add realism to your renders with compositing. Import your render into DaVinci Resolve. Maybe adjust the timeline settings. Go to the Fusion tab. Now I render this clip as an EXR sequence, which causes this image to look a bit darker than it should. If you want to know more about why you should render EXR files and how to use them, watch the tutorial by Polyfjord. Link is in the description. Now I created a love pack that you can get on Patreon or on Gumroad that converts EXR renders to a final film look and speed up your workflow with EXR renders. To get this image back to normal, I'm gonna click on this arrow up here and choose my EXR to Rec 709 LUT. Let's start by adding some chromatic aberration. Go to the effects and search for chromatic aberration under the templates folder. If you click on it, it will automatically put it after the node you selected. Chromatic aberration is this thing that happens when a real lens messes up the light in the colors. Adjust the strength of the effect. Let's create this blooming effect. Hit shift spacebar and search for the glow effect. Put the shine threshold all the way to 1 to only affect the highlights. Use the spread slider to control the radius of the glow and the gain to control the strength. Let's add some lens dirt. I use this texture here. If you drag it onto this line it will automatically set up a merge node for you. Adjust the scale in the settings of the merge node. The lens dirt texture is in sRGB and the composition in a linear color space so we have to convert it. Add the color space transform effect. In the settings set the input to sRGB and the output to linear. Now our Lenster texture looks normal again. Set the apply mode to screen in the merge node settings. Now the Lenster is all over the image, when in reality Lenster only appears around bright lights. So here's a cool trick. Add in a Lumac here. Plug the render in the input. If you press 2 on your keyboard it will preview the node you selected. It's kinda like the node wrangler in Blender. Use the low slider to only select the highlights. Add a blur node. Plug in the Lumic here, increase the radius of the blur. Now we can use this as a mask for our lens dirt. And the cool thing is that it automatically updates dynamically to our render. If the lens dirt is too weak, add in a color corrector and increase the gain. Put a film grain effect on top of everything and adjust the strength. Let's switch to the color tab. So I'm gonna use one of the creative looks of my LUT pack. Just drag and drop it onto the first node. This converts EXR to a film look. I create another node with shift S in front of the LUT. In this one I'm gonna bring down the gain to bring back some details in the highlights. Hit Alt S to create a new node after the LUT. On this one I'm gonna create slightly more contrast. Hit Alt S again. On this one we're going to create a vignette. So go to this window mask plane thing and add in this circle power window. Scale it up and make the edge softer. Invert the window. Then go to the curves, enable additive splines to get a smooth roll off in the brightness. I also like to add a radial blur effect on a vignette to create this anamorphic look. So that's it, compositing to add realism to your renders.